Hello, I'm George Cummings with your SCB News Break for Wednesday, May 6th. Accusations of Santa Clarita Valley residents taking part in a fake police organization took another strange twist Wednesday when Attorney General Kamala Harris put a DOJ staffer on leave in response to the charges. The administrative change came after Sheriff's Department officials announced how the Masonic Fraternal Police Department and Chief Deputy Director Brandon Keel requested meetings with local law enforcement officials, triggering the investigation into their allegedly fake police department. Keel works for the Department of Justice but is on administrative leave, according to Harris Press Secretary Kristen Ford. No details were given, but three Santa Clarita Valley residents were arrested after investigation sparked by Sheriff's ca Station Captain Roosevelt Johnson. Newhall School District officials approved the move to a district-based election Tuesday on a 4-1 to vote. The district also chose a new map of the district, which divides the district into five geographic areas, with voters now selecting their representative for their representative, their respective district. The move was an attempt to avoid a lawsuit alleging a California Voting Rights Act violation as several Santa Clarita Valley school boards have been hit with complaints of this nature in the last two years. Board President Mike Shapiro was the lone vote against. Santa Clarita City officials are planning for a slight increase in their revenue projections for the coming fiscal year, according to a budget meeting Tuesday night for a total budget expected to come in at $187.3 million. The numbers were reported by City Manager Ken Striplin at a budget planning session for the 2015-2016 fiscal year. The budget plan is scheduled to be approved June 23rd at a meeting in front of the Santa Clarita City Council. The next subcommittee meeting for the budget is scheduled for May 11th. Turning to the entertainment report, here is Stephen K. Peoples. Well, thanks, George. Discounted advance tickets for the 8th annual Santa Clarita Valley Blues Festival are now available online. This year, it's at Hart Park's Heritage Junction on Sunday, May 31st, from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. The music's by the Fortune Blues Band, the Alan Wright Band, Bullfish, Kelly's Lot, Chuck Strong and SRBQ, Tony Dodd and Southbound Blues, and Francesca Capasso and the Scorch Sisters. Get all the details on the 8th Annual Santa Clarita Valley Blues Festival event page on Facebook. And Friday night, the Snareheads are looking to drum up some more fans with their snappy rock and soul review at the Valencia Wine Company on Town Center Drive. The five-man band promises to bring the house down even if they have to drop trow, which they're obviously willing to do. Showtime's at 9 p.m. and there's no cover. Visit the Snareheads Facebook page for more info about the gig and the group. A Friday anytime, you can catch the online premiere of the new single and video for Twisted Little Things. That's by local singer, songwriter, guitarist Pat Mason and his band, The Regular Crew. Sue Blue is the lead singer, and it's the first track released from the band's forthcoming album, All the Time in the World. Visit the Twisted Little Things video release page on Facebook for the link when it's posted on Friday. And Saturday night, you can see Pat and the crew performing Twisted Little Things, plus three more new originals live on SCV TV's House Blend Show, hosted by yours truly. It's an encore broadcast of one of season five's best shows. That's at 10 p.m., SCV TV on the tube and streaming on the web at scvtv.com. And you'll find lots more local entertainment news 24 seven at hometownstation.com, scvnews.com, and my blog, stephenkpeoples.com. That's what's bumping on the SCV entertainment beat. Back to you, George. Thank you very much, Stephen. Now moving on to weather, partly cloudy skies filled the Santa Clarita Valley today with a high of 68 and expect overnight lows to be in the mid to high 40s. This week we'll see more of the gloom with Thursday and Friday having a chance of rain. The weekend should be clear of rain with partly cloudy skies Saturday and a sunny Sunday to round out the weekend. Well, that's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. I'm George Cummings. Thanks for watching.